All right, so look, it's 3.30 in the motherfucking morning, bro. I'm tired as hell. It ain't really 8 yet, but I need to let y'all know some things, so bear with me. First off, I want to thank Nick Patrick. You see, without him, this video would not be possible. Like, he's a fire and content creator. Oh, my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying you no. literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. And literally, in a video, you're going to see me like, oh, okay, he... This is mad, his style is like mad, mad close to his. What the fuck? It's because like I watch his videos and I try to study his shit. And I try to um, pick a nigga in this content space who I really like, who's really big, and try to use their style and see what I can make out of it. I try to incorporate other nigga styles into it. I would put their like, face on the screen in YouTube because I can't remember right now. But it didn't really come out that way just because I follow Patrick CC so much. And it's like, it's so hard to like let everybody else spin into your shit and then put your own spin onto it when you don't know what you're doing. Like, I know how to edit and shit, duh, but it's just like, it's hard to put your own spin from some shit that you don't know what you're doing on yet, and I really want to learn and figure it out, so put my own spin to it, that's first off. So shout out to that nigga, Patch DC. His link uh, can be in the description, description below. He fire as hell. Um, next, I just want to thank y'all just for, like, all the people asking, what the next video? What is this video at? What is, what is the next video doing? Shit like that. Um, thank you for them. Um, just no cap, that really showed, like, oh, okay, I got people that really fuck with my content, even though I got, like, 72 subscribers, who cares? You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing this for no other shit. I'm doing it because I fuck with it. And I got a drink on the chase. That's near the hill there, though. Um, my next video for sure is going to be like way, 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 way more of my content. Content. What are you talking about? My personality. Um, for sure. It's going to be way, way, way more of my personality. More funny shit. More cool shit. More information I want to hear about. Who wants to hear about? Blah, blah, blah. Some real she popping. Salute to her. Salute to everything that she, going, she got going on. But um, it's like y'all just want to hear some more different shit from me. But um, this video is supposed to then come out. I was bullshitting with it. A lot of things were going on. Um, just trying to balance everything, but my mind is everywhere. But I, I, one thing is always gonna be stay true. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for sure. Just please just like, comment, subscribe to the video. You know what I'm saying? And tell me what I should work on. Tell me what I should do different. As you gonna see in the video, like my quality of the video just gets better and better. From the intro all the way down, like you gonna see a big drastic difference in like the mic quality and the. My, my cadence and how fast I'm going, how slow I'm going, and my edits and all this and this and this because as I'm going on with the video, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning how to do this, how to do that. Okay, do I put this here and learning how to pace myself here? Like, and I didn't want to restart the whole video just because I want y'all to see this journey I'm on. Um, and I think me messing up is part of that journey. Nigga, what? No, Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Yeah, let's see what the younger finna watch on YouTube today, bro. Man, what the fuck? Why the fuck my shit black? Where my mouse go? Oh, shit. Damn, that shit hurt. Man, where the fuck I'm at? Oh, this will be a new motherfucking YouTube update. This shit kind of fire. Bobby Alhoff is a 26-year-old social media influencer that has weirdly infiltrated rap culture using her fairly new podcast titled The Very Good Podcast as her medium to do so. So far, Bobby's had Drake, R. Cuban, Lil Yachty, and even Funny Marco's guests, just to name a few. Her unorthodox explosion of fame has prompted many to wonder if it's a stroke of luck or is she just an energy plant. Bobby started off her social media career in 2021, posting TikToks about motherhood and her pregnancy, with one of her earliest TikToks being of her eating an unpeeled banana and dancing awkwardly after. <laughs> She amplified that same awkward style on her podcast, which started two years later. In April 2021, she posted a TikTok statement that having her own podcast one of her biggest dreams. Bobby's podcast started Small Nature, though, one of her earlier guests being Tevin Sursock, an actor who played the character Jenna in the popular TV show Pretty Little Liar. But what helped her podcast progress is when she acquired the comedian slash social media influencer, Funny Marco, as a guest. During the podcast, Funny Marco and Bobby both shot quirky quips at each other, which seemingly led to Bobby making Funny Marco break character. Which is ironic though, because she stayed on the BFS podcast that her intro to her podcast, Lil Yachty, was so awkward that she wanted to leave. Next to me is a hard work, hard working woman. And if you can bless her. Fortunately, Drake help was coming when she out of nowhere acquired Drake as a guest. Drake's overwhelming popularity easily garnered the attention Bobby needed with the video reaching over 9 million views. Bobby's dry, cringy style of podcasting left people wanting more and more. Her stone cold awkwardness in tandem with Drake's uncanny ability to become a little meme generator allow clips from the podcast to attain many views. One of her most popular being her telling Drake that she missed her daughter's first birthday to do the podcast. Uh, all right, you got that. All right, 
Ask me a couple more. Are you kicking me out? I'm just saying, like, you know. I flew all the way here. You did. I really do appreciate it. On my daughter's that. first birthday. I wasn't going to bring that up. Mm -hmm. You missed your daughter's first birthday for To this. be here. Dark. Dark. Regret that you'll never be able to undo. Yeah. Horrible parenting. Unfortunately, Bobby's relationship with Drake will not last long. The podcast with Drake and Bobby has been deleted off YouTube and Spotify. Clips have been deleted off Bobby's TikTok account, and they both have been following each other off Instagram. Drake's appearance got eyes on Bobby's shirt, but not all of it was good. People wonder how she even got Drake to look her way. Many people have different theories on the matter, but nothing comes close to being concrete. One theory that has everyone in frenzy is that she slept with Drake, especially since Dave Portnoy, I know host on the BFS podcast, added validity to the theory when he said he asked Bobby if she get a divorce because she slept with Drake. But he claims that she responded she was not going to speak on it publicly. Sylvana's like, I heard that Bobby slept with Drake and is getting a divorce. So I asked her. I DM Bobby. What? You asked her, did you sleep with Drake and are you getting a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not com commenting on that publicly. Wait, so you just outed her? Oh. You just outed her not public comment? Hours later, Bobby posted messages between her and Dave, giving a full story. She claims that she did not want to sleep with Drake, but was more intriguing is that she writes she didn't want to do podcasts in the first place. But it's hard to tell which podcast she's talking about, Dave's or the one she did with Drake. It also doesn't help her industry plan title that a multitude of outlets state that her husband, Corey Alhoff, a self-taught computer programmer and successful writer, seems to have an abundance of money. He published his first book titled, The Self-Taught Programmer, The Definitive Guide to Programming Professionally in 2017. Later that same year, he was posting an article about Mr. Alhoff's journey, stating that he already sold 20,000 copies. He spent $15,000 to publish the book, roughly 4000 of it being raised on Kickstarter. He was also a finalist in the career category for the Indie Book Awards. In addition to his first book, he published another book in 2021 titled, The Self-Taught Computer Scientist, The Beginner's Guide to Data Structure and Algorithms. But the number of sales the book amassed is unclear. So, there is clear evidence that Bobby could have money back in her podcast career. But again, there's more to the story. In her podcast with Mark Cuban, she stated that she has no more money at all. And she actually has 20000 in debt for her podcast expenses. I don't have any money. None? At all. I have debt, actually. You have debt? How much debt do you have? Uh, right now, I have like $20,000 of debt. That sucks. Is that from school or is that from... Uh, no, from my podcast. Oh, for your podcast? What did yeah. you borrow money for? I didn't... Well, I, I borrowed it from the bank to... Like, I put it on a credit card. Just every episode that I film, I spend a lot of money on. Wow. But I haven't made any money. Why don't you come to me and like investors instead of having to borrow? Um, because I wanted to have full ownership of it myself. So See, look at you. Let's microphone that. It's scary when you borrow money to start a business, isn't it? It is. Yeah. With industry plant rumors on the rise, Bobby announces being one on the BFS podcast, in which she explains how she got Drake through her podcast in the first place. But yeah, then Drake liked one of the videos I had uploaded, and he followed me. Um, I didn't realize it at first. Marco called me, and he was like, Bobby, look who just followed you. So I like like filtered it to verified only people and i was like oh my god like <laughs> why why would he follow me he's like he liked the video and i was like okay i'm gonna like shoot my shot to drake i don't know how this i i thought the chance of him replying was like a one percent and the chance of him saying yes was like point zero zero yep. zero i was like there's no way so i was like come on my podcast i said when are you gonna come on my podcast and he just was he said right yeah away. he was ready to do it i flew out there like wow. I think, three days later wow and then and then he Jake's appearance led to Bobby's John Lee with notoriety, yes, but sadly, this leak could be a start of undoing, since any time there's a perceived industry plan on the rise, their credibility, relatability, and overall appeal so it's great. People want the influence that they watch to essentially come from nothing, and have had to grind their way to the top with no help, especially, and I mean especially with no financial backing, reminiscent of what they want from today's rappers. Bobby's industry plan status is still very much on the air, but depending on how she moves in the social media game, how the culture perceives her as a whole, will determine whether she dominates at the top, or she goes by the eating those same unpeeled bananas.